What's going on guys? Welcome back to Northside Reptiles. I'm Andrew and this week we are doing a popular topic that I've seen on the internet. Putting a harness and leash training your tegu. And Bowser is going to be wearing this one for the first time. If you saw our previous video I mentioned that Lexi and I did it and he didn't really like it so hopefully he's a lot more comfortable this time because it's just me and Brooklyn might be filming on this one. But let's get right into it. This harness we are using right here is from PetSmart. It's actually a dog harness. So you can get harnesses that are designed for reptiles, but once they become something of this size, they won't kind of fit anymore. Plus we want the whole body to be secured with it. He's a little bit uh, puffed out because he needs to go to the bathroom. So we will be adjusting this so it fits him well. And we also have a leash that we'll put on him, but I don't think he'll like that. I'm just going to pull him out right now so you guys can see him. He is getting quite big. He's about just over 39 inches now. He's kind of wedged himself under this plant. And we are filming this kind of late. So it is kind of bedtime for him. All right, so this harness is adjustable, so I'm gonna have to play with the settings a little bit so that it can obviously be more secure on him. He doesn't really like it, but we'll try and get it on him. It has to go around his head, so his head will go through here. And this will just loop around his body. Hopefully he's not too upset with it. That's not gonna fit. And we're walking away all right. Come on, buddy. Oops. As you can see, I've never had a dog, so work in progress for both of us. Pull him out again. All right. Oh. Well, this is turning out to be a great video. Oh, you go up here. Now you want to put a harness on a tegu that isn't likely to bite you, so you wouldn't do this with a juvenile or one that isn't totally comfortable. Goes yeah this way. You're okay. I think I'm just gonna hold him. Do it. Okay. Hmm. You like these apples? And it works. Now, hopefully, I can get this around him a little easier. There we go.
<laughs> it was pretty frozen. So guys, it will take a few times for him to get used to this. We didn't even get it this far on last time, so he's kind of like, seems like he's just trapped in time here. So we got him moving a little bit, and I want to tighten that back strap you see right there so it's more secure on him. So I'm going to try doing that. I don't want to reach over there because he is going to be a little nervous about this whole thing. It's also kind of wet. He did go in the water a bit. Where's the strap? Oh, there it is. Good thing about this is once it's tightened, it doesn't have to move again. Oh, you're okay. I think I just loosened it, right? Mm hmm. Well, that kind of worked. Now, I don't want to go too fast with this because I don't want to freak him out to the point where he never wants to wear it again. So it is really loose around the collar. And the back is kind of more tight. But I'm going to pull him out closer so that I don't have to reach as far in there. Let me put you guys right there. Oh, apparently not. I built this ledge. I didn't build it for a GoPro. secure for his first time. Now you guys can't see he's still shedding this part of his body. So hopefully that'll come off in a few days. Slightly shedding right here but I'm not gonna pull it. And we also have a leash so he can get used to that, but I'm going to use that over the next few times that I do this, not the very first. We can just clip it onto here. And hopefully during the summer we can get him outside so he can get that natural UVB, not just this linear fluorescent. But right now it's freezing outside so it's a little hard. Yeah, there's a little bit of room. And we're also going to feed him right now, so... Well, that didn't... It's a lot more <laughs> loose than I thought it was. So, I think we're going to leave it at that, but we'll feed him right now so it reinforces the idea that it is a positive experience. Uh, we're going to be feeding him some eggs today. So hopefully he's pretty hungry with that. He hasn't eaten the last few days. And hopefully we can get him to eat again. He might be still a little bit nervous. Or apparently not. Yeah, come on.
greedy boy. Now he's unlikely to drop it and try to angle it better. He's gonna keep throwing it around in his mouth until he finds a good angle. I can probably help him. Ow. Of course, I don't wanna be bit by him when he juggles it in his mouth. Tegus do have one of the strongest bite forces of all lizards as well as sharp teeth in the front. I don't know if you guys can see that. So a nice piece, I'm definitely cutting. of egg now. Mm -hmm. There you go. Now these are just regular chicken eggs. We ripped this piece, so it's uh, gonna be a lot easier for him to eat. Now, in the wild, tegus would raid uh, nests of different animals, other lizards, uh, tortoises, even crocodiles and alligators. Mostly caiman, but in Florida, where they are an invasive species, they would also raid nests of the local. American alligator. He is going to work that down his body. Okay, I don't want you to bite me, buddy. Brooklyn's going to take it away from you then. And we'll clean up the area that he uh, made a mess with. Alright. You think I should try one more time? I think I'm going to try putting it on one more time. Maybe tightening the front straps so that they don't slide down his shoulders like it did last time. And we'll try and get him out a little bit better. I think it fit well over his head the first time. Maybe we'll do it a little tighter. It's those jowls that I need to get around and then tighten it around the shoulders because you can see it gets thicker and then narrower right here where we want the strap. So I'll just pull them out. See, they really don't like being lifted up especially with one hand, but pretty hard to do. I don't know, I don't know. And that shows you just how strong they are. 
They really like moving around their cage or what they can move. You're a heavy boy. Come on. I seriously? Don't you want to go outside? Crazy kid? I'm gonna put this on later, actually. Maybe that will make it easier. See? It's fine. Go. Wait. Ow. Ow. Your claws. It took some wrestling, and I'm a little sweaty from bending over a little bit, but we finally got it on. It's not that tight on him, but I'll show you. It is a little bit more snug. So, hopefully you can get used to that over the coming months before we could take him outside. And once he starts moving, we'll get back to the video. I think he looks good in the blue collar. Oh, he's gonna try and get off. So as you can see, they are smart enough to use their surroundings to try and push it off because it's not naturally on him. I'm just gonna move this so that you guys can see him better. But even if we had to, that's pretty tight. So I think this was a very successful first time, just like the first time we filmed with somebody else. You want to, you know, be happy about little victories like this. You don't want to, I mean, some Tegus might respond very well to this kind of thing, but obviously Bowser really isn't happy with it. So just like the video with Lexi, he will warm up to the collar. He just needs some time with it and the continuous exposure to it. But I think that's all for this video. Let me know what you guys think about putting your tegus on harnesses. I know some people are really interested in that kind of thing so that they can walk them like a dog. They are very dog-like reptiles. I think that's it for the video. And, uh... We are just doing this so he can get used to the fact that he can be outside. It's just a simple dog harness. It isn't that cruel. He's not really in pain. He just doesn't like it. It's a mild discomfort to him. And I think it would be really cool if we had him outside. That would be an awesome video. Him interacting with the outdoors. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to do this with your tagus, I'm sure this applies to a lot of other reptiles. You can do this with bearded dragons, the water dragons too, and a variety of other lizards. So I'm gonna wrap up here. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to follow our YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. And I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.